to start off this look, I'm just going to take this foundation right here by Gorgeous Cosmetics. And it is a nice matte moussey foundation. And I wanted to go for a more matte look. And I look a little tan right now, but I am going to be using a porcelain powder that really washes me out. So I wanted a tan base. If I used my more paler foundation, I would just look like a ghost. And she didn't look like a ghost in the movie, obviously. She looks beautiful. I, this is one of my favorite looks from her. I love her movies and the movies that she's in. But this look for sure is my favorite. And I've been wanting to create it for a long time. And I've been thinking that I do a lot of nostalgic looks. And I've been thinking about movies that I love and I'm just going to just start recreating them. Even if some of you have never watched the movies or anything, I would give them a shot. And this definitely is one great movie. So I'm just concealing my under eye circles. I had a long night <laughs> the night before. So let's make sure that we cover those up. I look a little weird because obviously my eyebrows aren't filled in, but I am just taking this Fit Me Matte Powder, and this is a porcelain shade right here. And you can see that the foundation will lighten up a lot more, and I won't look that orange because it cancels out. But we definitely need color in the face because now I look a little too washed out. I typically don't like just using powder like this. I usually like to bake, but I am just going for a more classic look. And now this makeup tutorial and makeup look is going to be very easy to achieve. Now I'm just taking this blush palette by Gorgeous Cosmetics. And I love this palette just because it has every color that I'm looking for. And I just needed a really rosy uh, pink color because that's what they did a lot during this time period. I love vintage looks. I did one on Allie from The Notebook. That was one of my favorite videos I've ever done. So I had to do something like this as well. I just wanted to make sure that I had like the right things to use for it. I guess I came pretty close. I'm not transforming into the actresses. Most of the time I am just trying to replicate the look and I need props <laughs> to look more like it. So I'm just taking this vanilla color right here and this is going to be a very simple. I'm going to place this all over the lid. All the pictures and still as I got from her in the movie, her makeup looked the same. It was very simple, very pinup and vintage, obviously. I do my eyes were a little dry here, so this one eye right here looks kind of gross, but the second eye was not dry. So like I said, we're just going to place this all over the lid, make sure it's a nice light wash. A lot of pictures of her from the movie and movie posters, her eyes looked very like bright, like she had a white eyeshadow or like a vanilla colored eyeshadow and just like a very simple little winged liner. But I didn't want to look totally washed out. So I took a little bit of this color right here. And it's just kind of like a darker color of the white, I guess. I wouldn't say taupe because it doesn't have red hues in it, but yeah. So I'm then I'm placing this just kind of like cutting it. Like, as, like you see, I'm not doing anything crazy. This is just to add depth to the eyes so I don't look that washed out. Then I'll blend it out a little bit. You can totally skip this step, but I felt like it was necessary to not look washed out. And then the next step is going to be making that cute little tiny wing. So I'm just using this liner right here and I'm going to make the cutest little wing you ever did see. So just do this. Take a pen if you're not really good at liner. Trust me, with practice you will get there. So I am just lining the lids over here. For the longest time I didn't know if Kate Beckinsale had blue eyes green eyes or brown eyes it looks like she had like hazily brown eyes so i just kept my natural eye color i was like i'm not going to put any contacts in for this i didn't want to change the look drastically because different eye colors can really change your face trust me that's the only way that sometimes i can get as close to as how i want to to other celebrities so i just am going really fast on this eye because you guys already saw how i did the other eye so I don't want to spend too much time talking about it because I already did. So now I'm just curling my lashes. It didn't look like she wore too much mascara, especially the bottom lashes were completely blank. So I'm just taking my this mascara right here. I've been using it for a while and it's the best mascara that doesn't make your lashes too long. This is the mascara I use on a daily basis when I don't want my lashes to look really long, but just like I had something there. So... I use this on my tutorials where I don't want my lashes to be overbearing. 
Then I'm going to move on to the lips. I am using Cherry by MAC. This is the best red lip liner in my opinion, hands down. It's just really good and it doesn't feather. And my lips, when I make them red, they look amazing. And I never wear red lipstick, by the way. It's just not my thing. I don't like it. So, yeah. I, I, I don't think I'll ever run out of this. So once I'm done lining my lips, I line them ever so gently because I didn't want to like make myself have clown lips because then I don't I'll look, I won't look classy like her. So I spent my time on this. Then I'm gonna take one of my favorite red lipsticks by Mac called Ruby Woo, and it is so matte and perfect for that vintage look. Trust me, this is one of the best red lipsticks out there. I know Rachel McAdams wore this in the Notebook, so it's a really good lipstick. But anyways, that is my Evelyn look from Pearl Harbor, played by the beautiful ageless Kate Beckinsale. Like, I love her, and this look is, it's just timeless. You can wear it no matter what. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this look, and I will see you in my next movie character recreation, or celebrity look, whatever that may be. Okay guys, I will see you soon. Bye.